my good friends from around the world. Today we have another show of hemp engineering. And we have the our special guest, Erin Lindley. She is from Canada and she is one of our featured speakers in the upcoming Hemp African Summit. Welcome, Erin. Thank you for having me, Ramon, and I thank you for all the work you do. You know, I'm a big fan of you. Well, nothing is compared to what we are doing in Latin America, and especially the, uh, your effort uh, uh, bringing to everyone to understand the power of the seed, um, the power of hemp as a food, beyond any other characteristics or potential business. Um, this is a seed that can solve a lot of protein and hunger on earth. And just the fact that you are dedicating your life to it is a blessing to all of us and a light that I welcome and I resonate with love. Well, thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. It's good to, it's good to work with people who have the same ideas. Erin, how did you end up in this business in the, you know, enlighten us, please? You know, it's interesting because a lot of people get into this industry because they like the THC part of things. And I actually got into this industry because 20 years ago, I owned a health food store. And one of the original people who started creating hemp foods and hemp seed walked into my store with a bag of hemp protein and, to and, and started telling me all the amazing things about this food. And I was like, this is absolutely amazing. And I remember, I still remember to this day because it was generation one hemp protein. Um, I went into the back of my store, I added it to water, I mixed it up and I drank this stuff and it tasted like dirt. It was horrible. But um, in my years, I've actually now been in the um, natural food industry for over 20 years. In my years, the one thing that I've always kept true is hemp protein will change the world. Having said that, Erin, um, I feel that uh, this upcoming event in Africa is beyond opening doors, is bringing uh, a message to so many people to educate them what we can do with the plant. What are your expectations on this, on this regard? Well, my expectations are, you know, we talk a lot about feeding the world and that we know we need to get more food to people, but, but we also need to get quality food. And within quality food, we have the hemp seed. We have perfect ratio of, of omega fatty acids. We have the perfect protein in Edison protein, and we have something that grows like a weed. And so it's not just about feeding the world. It's about feeding the world the right way. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, in... I was blessed with the opportunity to work for almost a year in Africa, uh, in Equatorial Guinea, uh, exactly what they was the last colony of the Spaniards in the whole world, basically. And um, I've seen the disparity of what the ruling classes and the people themselves, uh, the way they feed themselves and what is available for them to eat. And I'm very sure that this plant can provide to billions of people uh, from the Sahara up down to Cape Town, uh, a solution that is easily implemented. Um, I agree with you, Erin. Yes, it can be a lot yes. of... It's not just about providing a quantity of food. It's that, you know, if you provide the correct fatty acids to children, you're, you're promoting brain development. You're promoting better skin. You're, 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 promoting, you're promoting better digestion, better focus, better, um, you know, it just comes through when human beings are fed the right food and hemp is our food. It was the first plant that we ever planted. You know, it is our food, it is, it is a perfect nutrition, and if we can do that, we can change the world. And the, with the technologies that we have available to mass produce food and to uh, supply that kind of food to refugees or people that are running away from troubled countries, um, you know, it, it is unlimited what we can do. So this is a great opportunity for you, Erin, to bring us um, your work, your vision, your dreams uh, to a continent, uh, to a whole continent, 54 countries out of there that are in, in need and need 
to listen to what you're gonna tell us. Thank you very much. Quite honestly, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And yes, you're right. I mean, this is um, an opportunity to teach people what our first food was and how we can actually become better people, healthier people and stronger people because we have food. Hippocrates said, let your food be your medicine. Exactly. Erin, right. um, I always ask to everyone that I interview this last question before we close out, what message could you tell the decision makers, politicians, military, entrepreneurs on this regard? <clears throat> when it comes to hemp? Yeah. Um, I would say that, you know, throughout history, human beings have evolved because we have tools and we have the ability to use tools. And because it biodegrades and it goes into the earth and it goes and disappears, archeologists don't have record of our most important tool. And our most important tool was the plant. It made us our houses, it made us our clothes, it made us our food. And there is nothing that can stop us once we, once we have our tool back. You got that right. And um, it's like a paradox, you know, because the United States implemented a global dictatorship on this regard. And it is the, the United States itself who are rapidly dismantling the the prohibition. They want this to be forgotten, which is extraordinary. And therefore, the rest of the world should be embracing the same idea. This is my belief. Well, see, um, I spent a lot of time before the before United States Farm Bill came in. And of course, I'm from Canada and we've had hemp for 20 years. And around in 2019, obviously before 2020, you know, traveled to almost 20 countries to educate people on hemp. And so I believe that mother nature wouldn't leave us without our tool. She'd make sure that we have it. And she's making sure that the whole world has it with, you know, hempsters like you and people all over the world who are recognizing and planting this beautiful plant. That gives me hope for humanity. Well, when we talk about tools, you're one of them, my angel. <laughs> you are one too. And Ramon, I am so grateful for what you do. And I am so grateful to be a tiny little part of it. Thank you very much. Love and peace. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.